Okay, this stuff is so much fun. Now, if you've never heard of negative numbers, imagine this. Imagine I give you $3, you go out and you spend four. Is that possible? If I give you three bucks and you go out to the candy store and spend four? Sure it is, you could borrow a dollar, right? From one of your friends. So now you have an IOU, so you have negative one dollar. Does that make sense? So the next time you've got a dollar in your hot little paws, you owe it to somebody, right? So it's possible to go below zero. And so let's take a look at some negative numbers. Now a typical example, like in a worksheet, in a drill worksheet, it's gonna look like this. And we'll work through those in just a second, but I wanna kinda just make you visualize it first. Okay, so if you owe me $3 and your mom $4, how much do you owe completely? $7, right? So that would be negative seven. People don't usually, grown-ups don't really like negative balances on their checkbook. <laughs> in fact, if, you, if it's red, it implies there's a negative sign in front of there. Okay, great. So what if um, you owe, say you owe me $10 and you pay $5 back. Do you owe me any money still? If you owe me 10 bucks and then you give me five, when I say, oh yeah, that's great. <laughs> no, you still owe me money. How much? Five more dollars and interest, especially if you don't like pay soon, right? <laughs> okay, that's what we're talking about here. So check this out. Okay, so we went, you went, I gave you three bucks, you spent four. The answer to this one, you still owe one dollar. So this would be negative one. All right, what about this? You owe me three dollars, your mom four dollars. Now you're out seven bucks. This would be minus seven. All right, you owe me 10, uh-oh, but a negative, negative five, a negative, negative. Think about the two negatives as becoming a positive. Take that negative, put it up here, make it a plus. Minus 10 plus five. So you owe me 10, you gave me five. What's the answer to this one? Negative five. You still owe five bucks. What about this one? A two minus a minus nine. Anytime you minus a minus, just replace it with a plus. Super simple. So what's two minus a minus nine? Can you do it real quick? Two minus a minus nine. What I do mentally in my head, I say, hey, that guy's gonna go over here. Can you do that problem? Sure, that's 11, right? Super easy. All right, now let's really test you. Okay, here we go. Six minus a minus eight. What's that gonna be? Say it out loud, just say it. You don't have to write it down if you don't want to. Six minus a minus eight. Okay, so we'll go back to the drawing board here. Six minus a minus eight. Two minuses make a plus, two wrongs make a right. Well, sort of. Um, we have positive 14. Okay, what about this one? I give you six dollars, but somehow you spend eight. So what's, what do you, what, what's the deal? Do you have money in your pocket or do you owe money? You owe money, how much? Minus two, right? You are down by two dollars. Okay, what if you already are down six dollars, okay, and you spend eight more? Do you have money or are you really in trouble? <laughs> You're really in trouble. So anytime there are minuses here, you just put the minus here, and then what's six plus eight? Fourteen, that's right. So now you better get a paper route or start doing the dishes and washing cars because now you owe fourteen dollars, yeah. Not a good thing to be in the red so much. Okay, here's another one. Let's do the last one that we didn't talk about. How about this one? Minus six, minus a minus eight. Can you do that? Minus six, minus a minus, so you're gonna replace that with a plus. Minus six plus eight gives you, show me with your fingers. What do we got? Nice, <laughs> looking good. All right, so Handling negative numbers is important, and especially in algebra. Okay, so you know how to multiply, oh, sorry, I didn't show you the answers. Here you go. I think you guys got all these though. Okay, so you guys can, um, you, you can look at the answers here. Okay, so it's important to know how to handle negative numbers. And if you've never multiplied by negative numbers or divided, it's, this, it's um, a little bit different. We just did addition and subtraction. Real quick, if we have minus two times uh, let's say just a minus two times three. Notice how I put them in parentheses. Anytime I have two parentheses, I, we don't put X's here because we're gonna use X for something else. Um, sometimes you'll see a dot 
but dots are small and it's hard to see. So I'm gonna have minus two times a three. So what do we do? We just take the numbers. What's two times three? Six. And then we add up all the negative, or we look at all the negatives. So there's only one negative, so we're gonna carry it through. Okay, if this was a minus two times a minus three, we would just go two times three is six, minus times minus, two wrongs make a right. Now we have plus six, okay? So, and if I had a minus out here and a minus out here, I have minus and minus, that's a plus. Oh, but another minus, that would still be minus. You kind of see how that is? There's, so if there's an odd number of minus signs, it, you carry it through, but if there's an even, then they become, um, uh, then they become a positive. This is the same for division and multiplication. So negative numbers handled, yes?